Mystics post game live of course up in Connecticut for the first road game of the season your Washington Mystics after being up four in the first half fell by six in the second half and a lot of different factors contributed to that and that's why we are here to break it down here on post game live chat city Melbourne with Wes Hall here of course we'll be joined by Megan and Christy and of course you'll hear from head coach Eric Tebow in a moment but Chas let's just start at the beginning of this one we saw a strong first half from Washington they were up four. that first quarter was phenomenal but then that second quarter started to show us something that didn't reveal itself into the second half what were your thoughts about this game this afternoon well, I thought uh, defensively, Connecticut put the stamp first uh, in the second half. They Their physicality, Mystics just didn't, uh, they didn't take it very well. They started focusing on the non-calls that they were getting, and I think they lost their focus and their sense of purpose of what they wanted to do offensively. Indeed, it can be distracting when you have the performances like Elena Deladon did and had 13 in the first half. She ended up with 19. Shakira Austin finished with 21. Natasha Cloud finished with 13. So those three were able to bring it. But beyond that, you saw Ariel Atkins had eight. Everybody else was kind of in single digits. My question to you is, though, something that you and I were talking about as we were watching. Second chance points. We saw there were moments where the Mystics could have possibly tied it back up again. Remember, Connecticut didn't even take the lead until 8.33 in the fourth quarter. How do they regain possession when you're down there in the paint like that on the offensive end? Well, on the offensive end, the backcourt the, the lid had a, a rim. The rim yeah. had a lid on it for the backcourt of the Washington Mystics tonight, and that's going to happen throughout the season. I think what Coach E will probably get on his backcourt about is get in and get in some offensive rebounds. Help the front court with Elena Deladon and Shakira Austin battling against Alyssa Thomas and Breon Jones. You have to get guards in there and get rebounds. I wish I, I would have liked to see Sykes and Klaus and Atkins. You know, when you're off, get in there, rebound the basketball. Yeah. Get, you know, give yourself a get an easy bucket. Take and then, them. You're right there. You know, the shots will probably start falling after you get a free speaking easy. of shots not falling the mystics uh, shot 39 percent from the field unfortunately three for 21 from behind the arc that's 14 percent something that we know that this team can shoot the ball when they have them but like you said there's a bit of a lid on the, on the rim tonight it's one of those nights excuse me one of those days <laughs> this is an afternoon game but i want to bring in megan peak and christy winter scott and and ladies i'm going to be rather candid about this one yes we get a rematch on tuesday afternoon down in esa but Looking at this game, there were a lot of opportunities that the Mystics had to regain that lead that they ended up allowing that uh, Connecticut took over at 833. Am I right, Christy? Absolutely. I mean, Washington had a plus eight advantage on paint points, 38 to 30, but you have to have good balance. You have to have those threes falling. You can't be three for 21 from three, but credit Connecticut's defense for pushing Washington off that three point line and disrupting their rhythm from the outside. But when you have those opportunities down the stretch to put the ball in the basket, to attack the paint and finish, Washington just came up short great viable opportunities just didn't get executed when they needed it most. Megan, one of the things that we talked about in pregame was the fact that the Mystics were performing pretty well against New York in transition. When I'm looking down tonight, I look at the box score and I only see two points for Washington in fast break and transition. What was it about what Connecticut was doing tonight that, that created such a problem for the Mystics? Well, Christy said it through in the game, Wes, and she said it best. Sometimes when you're a team, if you don't have the same amount of talent that the other team has, that you're going up against, figure out what they don't like to do or figure out what they love to do. And in this situation, it was transition. So you now force the Mystics, if you're Connecticut, to play defense in transition. And I thought Connecticut took advantage of the fact that the Mystics were just a half a step slow in transition. They were able to get out and run, push the pace. And I thought in the first half, specifically in that first quarter, that the Mystics did a great job dictating pace. Mm. But then Connecticut started to put their pieces together. You saw the puzzle pieces get gelled a little bit more more as the game went on especially in that third quarter they then began to dictate the pace to their favor and to their ability and advantage and I thought that's where we started to see them have an advantage in transition and for whatever reason the Mystics just couldn't get over that hurdle once the Connecticut took the lead things just you know as Chas said the, the lid, the hoop had a lid on it. Yeah. And sometimes it happens. It's just that it happened at the most inopportune time this afternoon. So, Chess, with that in mind, like I said, you, you saw that Shakira was hot in the second half. She's in the first half, Shakira was, you know, pretty good. But in that second half, she had nine points in the third quarter, finished off with 21 for the night. And we talk about breaking the momentum of another team. Well, you wanted the offense to roll through EDD. There was a play where EDD actually drew the double team and ended up kicking to Shakira and in in, in on the slash. Do they need to do more of that when they know they're kind of backed into 
into this corner when you see a team like Connecticut? Oh, they need to do more of it. And I thought, I thought that the front court, like I said, they they meshed together well today. But it, today's loss, really, it was it it was a combination of what um, Christy said. Yeah. There wasn't enough balance and like I said the backcourt really had issues in finding their way to the hole even they missed some chippies when they did yeah, get in yeah. the paint and right at there right there they missed chippies and you got you got to knock those down when you're two feet in the paint coaches have a problem with that all the time <laughs> when you miss those cheap chippies so we missed chippies and I also thought like the height of uh, Connecticut Sun yeah. um, posed challenges for the DC backcourt yeah. and so that might be something they have to adjust maybe they throw in some zone three two zone find a zone deep defense to play sometimes when the height advantage is opposing problems. Indeed. The good thing about this is that there's a rematch, as you guys said, on Tuesday down in Southeast D.C. And just to note, Elena Deladon and Shakira Austin both finished with double doubles this afternoon. So regardless of the outcome of the game, still strong performances for both of them. Christy, Megan, we appreciate you as always. Looking forward to see you in person Tuesday night back here in D.C. Mystics fans right now, head coach Eric Tebow at the postgame conference.